Oh yeah, that's lovely. That's pouring really, really well. Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, DBB. Um, happy New Year, just the first video of the new year. Um, yeah, exciting. So it's a beer video today, um, and it's gonna be oh, this beauty, which is the um, Festival World Beards um, Belgian Double Double. Oh, you know which one it is. Anyway, that's what today's video is. So, um, brewed this back in December. Um, it's now February, so does that make this a vintage? I probably think so. Um, but yeah, I brewed it back in December. Um, it was a nightmare because it was so, so cold. Um, the fermentation took ages. Um, it didn't stop, it just slowed down because of the temperature. I managed to keep it around about 15, 20 degrees, so yeah, it fermented out lovely anyway. So yeah, we're gonna have a good go at it. Um, I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard somebody said it's all right. Other people have said yeah, it's pretty good. So we uh, we shall see. So I've been keeping keeping these beers. So I've got four kegs of this. Um, I'll be keeping it because, if, like I said, it's February. And it's a very very important uh, season of sport, which is about to begin. Yes, the Six Nations Rugby is about to start, so this is going to go down well. Um, so it came out at 6.5 ABV, which is uh, certainly going to warm the cheeks. So we're going to load it up into the um, into the beer monster. I'm going to do my very, very best to, to give you a beer review today. What tastes, what smells. But Pierre from um, Simple Hungry does good reviews. Baz from All The Beer No Idea, he does good reviews. There's loads. Um, I'm just crap, if I'm honest. Um, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And I, if it tastes good, it tastes good. This has been down in the garage since I brewed it in December. So we've had loads and loads and loads of cold temperatures. So I know that if this is too cold, it's gonna it's gonna ruin some of the flavour anyway because it's gonna be too cold. So I actually brought this in yesterday and it's kept it at room temperature. It's still pretty chilly. So um, I'm not going to switch to be a monster on because I think this beer needs to be served around about 10 degrees anyway. So um, yeah, we'll just get it in and see how it is. You've all seen me load the beer monster before. You know how that works. So um, yeah, I'll stop waffling. Um, I'll get inside the machine, get everything connected up, and then we'll do the we'll do the first pour and go in for a taste. Catch you in a minute. Okay, so it's it's in the beer monster. Uh, I switched on just to see what it was. It's 12 degrees at the moment. That's fine. There's the, uh, there's the keg just inside there, and a little bit of spillage, so I know the uh, pressure is good in there. So, um, yeah, we'll get on and give it a pour. pouring really really well here we go that's the uh, that's the first pour look at that that is a nice glass of beer right let's see uh, let's see what it's like here we go beer's in the glass um, so one finger off white head or a tanned head check me out um, just to say though um, I put no gas in the um, in the beer in the keg at all. That that first pour was all off the um, uh, the secondary fermentation stage. So when I primed the keg with uh, with priming sugar, um, that is the result. It's it's what pressurised the keg basically. So the first pour was basically all the pressure that was already created. Um, you can see the head still it's good head retention. Got loads of lovely, lovely bubbles just following the beer up the glass. Um, so that's that's perfect, absolutely perfect. 
good head retention as well. That, that head has stayed there, it hasn't really dissipated too much, so I wouldn't think ahead. Um, if you want to see that video, um, I'll put a link up there or not. Well, it might be there, it might not be, because normally when I add the link to the video and then I play the video, the link never shows up, but if it's either there or it's not. And if the video is not there of how I brewed this, and then just subscribe to the channel and all the videos will be will be down there. So so yeah, but look at that. That's that's, that's lovely. Absolutely lovely, lovely foamy goodness. Dark mahogany beer, um, no light bleed. I can't see any light through that at all. Um, So I can get fruitcake off it, and I can get, I can get fruitcake, and I can get, I can get, uh, oh, fruitcake, I can get plum, and I can get a little bit of clove. So if I remember the box, the box said it was rich, um, a rich mahogany beer with flavours of fruitcake, plum, and clove. So. Yeah, I can kind of get it. It's not too cold in the glass. Um, I'll be waffling for a bit. And look, it's still it's still got a good head on it. And look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see see the bubbles chasing up the chasing the beer up. Right, I have crap. Let's have a let's have a taste of it. If you sat in a pub, if you went out for a winter's walk or an autumn walk and then you went and sat in a pub with a roaring fire and then the bar person, I've got to be politically correct, the bar person put that in front of you and you had a sip of that, you would be in absolute heaven. It's rich, it's creamy, it's packed full of flavour, definitely plummy, definitely fruit cakey. Um, it's a real, real mouth pleaser. It's, it's lush, it's really, really good. Um, still getting those, those hints of fruitcake coming through now and again every time you swirl it around you just refreshes that head. The head's still there. You know, I've been waffling for like five minutes and the head hasn't gone, it's, it's maintained it. I'm really pleased with that. I'm really, really pleased with it. 6.5% um, beer, doesn't taste like a 6.5% beer. It just tastes bloody gorgeous. I would be happy to sit there and drink that all afternoon. A nice, warm, hearty beer. It's a nice, warm, hearty beer snacks. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, oh, real pinch of clove and fruit cake then. Oh, it just gets better. Oh, it just gets better with more and more you take, the more and more you try it. So, so there you go, guys. That is, um, that's my best attempt at a beer review. Um, I can't give you flavors and all that, but I tried my best, I tried my best. That is a perfect glass of beer. Um, sometimes I get astonished with how good these home homebrew kits are because to produce a beer like that, yeah, it's been in the garage aging for what the best part of a what a month and a half. Um, and it, it's still proud. It's done, oh, lovely aftertaste around the mouth. Lovely aftertaste. Fruit cake. Yeah. Just, uh, I am more than happy with that. So I think what I'll do, I think I'll just top that up. I'll put a bit of gas in the machine this time just to give it a bit more. And then we'll see if there's uh, any difference in the taste. Um, that, is, that is lovely, that is lovely. Right, bear with me. Okay, I switched the beer monster off. Let's say the, the, the beer is cold enough. So I'm just gonna, just check you can see it. Just gonna add some gas to it now just to see, or just to give it a bit more, a bit more body really, a bit more head. 
Yeah, you can hear the gas. There we go, nice, nice, nice pour off there again. There we go, that's lovely. That is really coming out of there. Whoa, look at that. That is like pouring the Guinness at your favorite pub. Look at that. Look at that. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right. So we just did another pour. We put some gas in the um, we put some gas in the keg this time, just to give it a bit more fizz, um, a bit more head. Um, it's there. It's lovely. That is that is just lovely. So steam sort of thing. Get a little bit more now of the aroma. Get a little bit more of the clovey, um, fruitcakey, plummy flavour or smell off it. That's odd. Almost got a bit of a smoky flavour now. That's interesting. So we've got fruitcake, plum, clove, and a little bit of smokiness. Guys, I'm well happy with that. Um, thank you for watching again uh, one of my videos. Um, I'm probably not going to do a brew for a while now because I've got quite a few kegs to get through. Uh, but what I might do is um, I bought a couple of kegs um, of um, different beers. So I think what I might do just to try and hone my sort of beer reviewing skills. Sorry, I keep doing that because I'm just so impressed with, so impressed with how that's retained that head. It's just stunning. Um, oh, pardon me, there's the, uh, the 6.5%. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of beers I bought from uh, a local supermarket. Um, some uh, beers, excuse me. So I might try and review those actually, uh, rather than do anything. A beer review, or sorry, a beer brew or something. So, um, yeah, just to try and pull in my tasted beer reviewing skills because I brew it, I'm not very good at reviewing it. So, um, yeah, so the next video I'll probably do that. But, um, other than that, guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Cheers, you all have a beer with me when you uh, when you watch this, and um, I'll catch you on the next one. Until then, cheers, you dears. I need to give up my day job, I need to do.